What is up guys, my name is Ignatius, welcome back to the channel. Last week we have started looking into utilities, and I have previously been holding Sempra Energy, ticker symbol SRE, but after looking more deeper into it, I've decided to cut out of that name completely. If you are interested in that analysis, I will leave a link for it in the description below. So now I do have some cash available, and will continue going through the utilities names, to check if there are any stocks worth adding into right now. So for today's dividend comparison I have 3 stocks from the regulated electric industry. First name is Nextera Energy, ticker symbol NEE. On the year to date the stock is down for 7.35%, but zooming out to 5 years they did have a decent performance, plus 115.7%. This will be the largest out of the 3 stocks for today with a market cap of 168.7 billion US dollars, and the stock right now is trading at a dividend yield of exactly 2%. Now for the second we have Duke Energy, ticker symbol DUK. On the air today the stock is also down but just for 4.78%. Unfortunately if we zoom out to 5 years, the price has only been up for 11.06%. Market cap here is at $75.9 billion, but the dividend yield is way larger at 4.08%. And the third one for the comparison will be Southern Company, ticker symbol SO. On the air today the stock is down for 2.66%, but zooming out to 5 years that is not too bad, plus 29.84%. Market cap is similar to Duke's at $72.2 billion, and the dividend yield is just a bit higher at 4.1%. So these three will be the names for today's dividend comparison, and to make that happen we'll go to Google Sheets. Now I have prepared the table with these three tickers, and for the comparison we'll take a look into 5 different metrics. Dividend yield, the dividend payout ratio, years of consecutive dividend increases, 5 year compound annual dividend growth rate, and the current dividend yield compared to its 5 year average. So we'll get the number under each metric for these tickers, add them into the table and compare them in between. The best number will get a point for the metric, then we'll sum the points up, and in the end the stock with the most points will be considered the winner of this dividend comparison. I hope that the rules were clear and early thumbs up would be very much appreciated and with that out of the way, let's start. So the first metric we are taking a look into is the dividend yield. It is calculated by taking the annual dividend per share and dividing it by the share price. So Nextera Energy is currently paying an annual dividend of $1.70, so at a price of $84.92 per share, we get a dividend yield of exactly 2%. Now Duke Energy. Their dividend is $4.02, so at a price of $90.54 per share, we have a dividend yield of 4.08%. And Southern Company, the dividend here is $2.72, so at their price of $66.36 per share, we have a dividend yield of 4.1%. For the second metric, we have the dividend payout ratio. The percentage here shows what part of company's earnings are being used to pay dividends. So for Nextera, the payout ratio is at 54.84%. This means that just a bit over half of company's earnings are being used to pay dividends. Now Duke Energy and their dividend payout ratio is at 70.73%, so almost 3 fourths of earnings are used for dividends. And lastly Southern with 71.9%, similar to Duke's with 3 fourths of earnings being used for dividends. Metric number 3 is the years of consecutive dividend increases. So for how many years in a row the company has been increasing dividends for at least one quarter every year. Now for Nextera Energy they have been increasing dividends straight for the last 28 years. Switching to Duke Energy that number is a bit worse, as they have been increasing dividends for the last 17 years. And Southern Company is in between, with 20 years of consecutive dividend increases. Now for the next metric we are taking a look into the compound annual dividend growth rate. For the comparison we'll take the 5 year average including the next year's estimate. So Nextera has a 5 year dividend growth rate of 8.9%. Switching to Duke Energy and their dividend growth rate is at 2.03% and then lastly Southern Company with a compound annual dividend growth rate of 2.71%. Now for the last metric we'll be comparing the current dividend yield to its 5 year average. And for that we'll use my dividend investing watchlist on Google Sheets. So we are in the tab for Nextera Energy, and here is its dividend yield history for each quarter of the last 5 years. 
Out of this information we calculate that on average in 5 years the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 2.06%. So the best time to get into the stock was in the beginning of 2018 with a yield of 2.59%, higher than average for 25.7% and then the worst one was in the second part of 2019 with 1.69% under average for 17.98%. But if we would be taking the stock right now at a dividend yield of 2.02% that is just under the 5 year average minus 1.96%. So this is here that number that we will be comparing. Now let's switch to Duke Energy. We have its dividend yield history for each quarter of the last 5 years. And on average the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 4.08%. So the best time to get into the stock was back in 2018. At a dividend yield of 4.72%. Over the 5 year average for 15.61%. And the worst one was not that long ago in 2022 at 3.59% under average for 12.07%. But if we would be getting into the stock right now at a yield of 4.12%, that is just a bit over the 5 year average plus 0.91%. And lastly Southern Company, we have its dividend yield history of the last 5 years and on average the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 4.3%. So the best time to get in was back in 2018 at 5.37%, higher than average for 24.9%, but the worst one was in the second part of 2022, with 3.38%, below average for 21.39%. Though if we are getting into the stock right now at a dividend yield of 4.1%, we are still under the 5 year average minus 4.64%. So we got the numbers we were looking for, if you would be interested in doing a similar analysis on another dividend paying stock yourself, you are able to access this watchlist by following the first link at the top of the description. Otherwise feel free to add a ticker or symbol in a comment below and I'll consider adding that into the watchlist myself. Maybe you could share some interesting opportunity available in the market that I am still missing. So we went through all 5 metrics and now the numbers are on our table. We can start assigning points. Southern Company gets the first point for the highest dividend yield at 4.1%, a point to Nextera Energy with the lowest dividend payout ratio at 54.84%, another point to Nextera Energy for 28 years of consecutive dividend increases, one more point to NE for the highest 5 year dividend growth rate of 8.9%, and the last point goes to Duke Energy, where its current dividend yield is 0.81% higher than its 5 year average. So now that the points are assigned we can calculate results. Next air energy got 3 points, Duke energy 1 and Southern company also 1. This means that with 3 points Next air energy is considered the winner of this dividend comparison. So that was it with today's dividend comparison. We have a new name to take a deeper look into and maybe that will be worth adding for our utilities exposure. Now which of the utilities names are you holding? Share your best pick in a comment below. Also don't forget to support the channel and leave a thumbs up under the video. Last week I've looked into several other companies, so if you are interested in any of these then click on a video that is currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all in the next one.